In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. I'm doing some cooking and stuff like that. I did get attacked last night from some hunters, but they mostly ran around on top and shot down a, a couple flaming or one grenade tipped arrow but that was it they didn't drop any more grenade tipped arrows or anything else like that um i don't know if i broke their pathing or if it was just these hunters for some reason uh, decided to attack in this particular way this time because sometimes their patterns of attack will differ from maybe the direction that they're coming. So if they had come from a different angle, they might have gotten into the water. These guys decided not to get into the water. I don't know if they were um, rogue or base building. Um, I never really saw them. I only heard them and then saw the, the, flute, the fruits of their labor when they were finding stuff down. But I need to do some repairs. So we're gonna get that done. That has to get done first thing. Um, probably should have done some repairs yesterday. But if they're gonna continue pounding that that area, I've got to uh, keep it protected as much as possible. All right, burn you. Yeah, I'll save you from mass. I don't need you right away. Drop you there for now. So I'm still kind of in that rebuilding phase right now. I went ahead and got some food cooked, so let's go ahead and chomp down on this. So hopefully raise my stats a little bit. Don't need to do a water run. I mean, I literally live on the water, so it's not a big thing. But eventually I need to do a water run. Let's top off the rest of the fruits and vegetables. All right. Now this needs to be repaired, but if I upgrade it, I'll, I'll save mats. And I think I have two more of these ready to go. Let's see if they're done yet. I think they are. Ah, I've got five. That'll give me a chance to upgrade something else real quick. And this one takes two as well. That leaves me with one extra. All right, so most of this is upgraded. Now it's just down to repairs. That one definitely needed it. Um. Whoops, no, 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 no. Hit this. Thank you. This didn't take any damage, so that's good. And there's no reason to have the, the holes there, but temporarily they're going to be there. One smack there. This one isn't even damaged enough for a smack, so we're going to leave it alone. Not worth it, not worth it. Very little damage. Okay, I think we're, oh. This one, but it's not, not enough damage to actually worry about it. Um, That might be. Oh, did I hit the wrong thing? Darn it. I mean, I've got, it's only nails and wood. I've got more than enough nails. It's the wood that's the issue. There we go. And I'll leave that one for now. Okay, so we're good here. I think the next upgrade needs to be that one right there. 
Can I make one more and get that updated, upgraded real quick? I can if I grab the resources. Yeah, at least one more so I can have most of the upper part of that uh, defensive area blocked off. I did get most of this cleaned out, but not everything. Go ahead and put this next to the rabbit because that's where it's going to end up going. And we'll put away cancel, cancel. We'll put these away for now. I'll craft that stuff later. I also got a, I went ahead and got some Molotov cocktails uh, crafted up as well. Here we go. Hmm. I'll wait till it's more damaged. But this one, it's right above the BCU. If they're firing from uh, above, that'll become an issue. Okay, sweet. Yeah, they were up there shooting down here. I don't think it's going to be a major issue if they're doing that all the time. It'll be an annoyance because I kind of like the setup that I have. Might as well keep the fire going so I save resource. Let's go ahead and just for time's sake, we're going to drop this stuff off here. Drop that there. I'm not going to... Oh, hello. Let's watch and see what this hunter does. So they haven't, quote unquote, initiated their attack yet, but I never got the notification. Okay, is that all you're going to do then? You're just going to kind of sit there? <laughs> oh, that guy actually walked on my planks for a little while. Glitchy, glitchy face here. I mean, if it's going to be that easy. Oh, man, all the blood. Look at that. That's horrible. Well, hey, resource delivery service is basically what that is. And they never initiated the attack, which means I probably prompted them to do another attack later on. But that answered one of my questions. They would still come down here and try the swimming thing, but they didn't feel the need to attack this stuff right here, which I didn't want them to do. That would have been really, really bad for me. Um, tomatoes first. The rest of these secondary. Perfect. Now, I'm thinking about putting another water catch in here. Maybe on this one right here, make it all... That gives me the ability to step in and grab water on this side for when I'm just over here doing my watering thing. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's something I am thinking about. Reload my gun. Speaking of my gun, I need to upgrade my gun. That is one of the things I typically like to upgrade. At least to level two. Um, Twelve pearls. <laughs> uh, you're gonna you're gonna be a, a level one pistol for a while, man. One, I don't have twelve pearls, and two, I am not going to go farm pearls right now. Oh man, I just got stuck in my own little area. While I'm here, I'm gonna have a little look. Oh, dead hunter body. I just want to see if there's uh, any pearls easy to get over here real quick. Come on, get out of the water. 
Cold Games needs to fix that. That is rather annoying and slow. Now, I don't know if it was intended to build that way, but it is still rather annoying and slow. I see this box over here. I want to grab it real quick. So once the mass and power regens in my base, I will finish up the rest of the Molotov cocktails. That would be enough for me. It'd be four. That'd be enough so I could go over there and attack two hunter bases in the same day. And that would be a decent day of slaughter and loot. Though I do need to get more mass and power put down so I could finally make a BCU cracker after making the lathe. Because that has to be the next thing that we do. Sooner rather than later, we do need to crack those bases and find out where they're going to spawn. Because now they're going to spawn on this side, near, uh, much nearer to our camp now. Now, I don't have to crack them. Um, I might crack one. Well, the smaller one for sure needs to get cracked, in my opinion. But the other two, they don't have to come over. They don't have to crack them. They can stay over there. It's not glitching the game. It's not cheating. It's just, hey, you built over there and I moved. As long as I don't crack their base, they don't get to re uh, relocate. I mean, maybe in the future... Um, Cold Games will actually give the Hunters the ability to relocate their base. I don't see why he would, but you never know. Um, I think this is potassium, but I'm hoping it... No, I was hoping it was iron, but it's not. It looked kind of white to be iron, but figured it was worth a chance. Leaving the chicken right now, I'm more... Speaking of it, I'm more trying to get rabbits right this second. If I had a choice, I'd rather, rather see the rabbits and then chicken omelets. Survey says, oh, cotton seed. Nice. Probably plant that the next time there is a an opening on my planters. I'll let the stuff that's in there grow out first. I do prefer getting seeds to getting actual um, cotton. Like if I were to find a plant right, a cotton plant, I would hope that it gave me a seed and not um, one thing of cotton because once I grow it, that's three things of cotton from the single loot, the single picking. He's hiding in the tall grass and I can't see him. I'm not seeing his movement either. Cause that's what I'm looking for. I saw a bear. And I saw iron. Dodge the bear and go for iron. Because I was going for the fiber and then the other plant, and I would have run right into the Ah, there he is. That would have been a buy, I think, because I would have missed out on the rabbit, would have missed out on the fiber, and the iron, obviously. Oh, hello. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you, thank you. Oh, nice plank in there. I needed that. And I got most of the repairs done. I need to repair the solar panel and the uh, planters just to, to finish off the repair issues. But the main things I need to get repaired, the stuff that is going to be taking damage over the next couple days, um, at least has been addressed.
I have been thinking if I need to put a wall at the top of so one of the one of my commenters on one of my videos suggested placing a wall at the top so the hunters can't fire from up there down but that would be a huge wall and it would really destroy the the look of the base I'd rather not do that I would, if that was such a concern, I would rather um, put claymores up there just to blow up the hunters anytime they got. I'd have to move my chicken coop, but anytime the uh, hunters go up there, they get blown up by uh, claymores. Now, if the claymores were a one shot and could take out multiple hunters, if they were all, you know, if they're grouped up, it would be a more viable idea. Unfortunately, a Coimor hits a hunter and knocks it back, but I have never seen a Coimor kill a fully healthy or armored up hunter. Uh, it takes, you know, probably two Coimors at a minimum. And then a lot of times, um, for some reason, hunters are not very good at setting off Coimors. I've had them literally walk right over the top of them and not set off the claymore. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, bad timing, but it is possible to get. Especially if I look the right way when I'm doing the jump. Jump mining. Chicken, I'm gonna leave it alone. I have more than enough feathers and I'm growing chicken, so. I'm raising or rearing chickens, however you want to say it. I've got chickens growing over my head. I've got chicken on the brain. So mainly loot and rabbits? Is that a cougar? That is a cougar. Oof. Do not want to mess with a cougar right now. Oh, campfire. Well, I don't mind if I do. And a cougar spawn right there too. He's seen me already. Let me get to what I consider a decent position. Come on, I you know I know you saw me, I know you want to. They are well geared rogue hunters as well. Ah, wanted it to be a one shot, one kill, but he moved. Oh, four of them. Well geared. Need to be careful. Ah, I missed his head. That's not good. I need to move. Reload. Oh, come on. I'm strafing. Got one behind me. Come here. Goodbye. Not my best outing, that's for sure. But I didn't die. I don't waste too much ammo. Now their fire went out, which is going to make it hard to find. I mean, it'd just be ash and probably some burnt meat. 
and it's not worth looking for too long. Let's show with that bear getting close. All right, someone might go, oh, it was right there. I don't see it and I'm not gonna worry about it. I've already taken damage. I'm still bleeding currently. Let's grab the fiber. I don't see the rabbit, so I think I'll just go ahead and skip him. And start heading home. Oh, I don't know where you're at, so I'm just gonna try to keep going this way I'm going. Oh, just like, please don't be right in front of me over the, t the flip of the hill. Like, I don't need to die again. Okay, okay, bear. Territorial. Ugh. Oh, I see iron. Can I get said iron? Yes, I can. And I can grab this as well. Win, win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Go back to the, oh, thank you. Go back to the rabbit bow. If I can get lucky and get a rabbit on the way home. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get lucky and see another rabbit. I do wanna check on the chicken. It's probably level nine. So tomorrow it'll be level 10. You know, I'm gonna hedge my bet real quick. I'm gonna catch this chicken. Stop running chicken. Stop running, make it easy on yourself. Oh God. Hey, I don't know where the, the bear is. I'm almost gonna keep chasing the chicken and hoping the chicken's running away from the bear. I ran out of stamina. Chasing that chicken was the dumbest thing I've done today. I mean, it led me to some cotton over here or a cotton iron. Hopefully I'll get some stam back while I'm doing this. Eat some more eggs and some vegetables. Um, oh, I don't have any eggs on me. Okay. Just eat those. That's good enough. Oh, he was close. I don't have any uh, health kits on me. Okay, we definitely need to go home and recover. So going after those rogues was even more stupid than it, when it appeared because I ended up using my last first aid kit. Now, put that in the balance for everything, it wasn't worth it, not in the long run. Oh, hey, rabbit. And you're running toward a wolf, you jerk. You jerky jerk. See, all these wolves and bears, and I think their AI is coded not to, if the hunters are coming for fishing or to attack. See, that's why I wanted that chicken, because I had a feeling he was gonna be level 10 already. Oh well. Oh, the wrong button wasted my last bandage as well. It was mostly a good day. It could have ended better. Uh, drop that there. Go ahead and bake my chicken on. 
Oof. All full one has to be. Cleaned out yet again. Can at least put this stuff away. Save a little room in there. Copper out there is teasing me. Let's check my planters real quick, see how they're doing. Okay, they should all have basically because they got all fertilized at the same time. So, and you guys should be just about out of light. Yeah, 42, 42. Perfect. And my chicken dinner is almost done. Onyx at cloth. All right. Time for some first aid crafting. We got a few more tonics done. And I make at least one more first aid kit would be smart. Leaving me one tonic left over. But that's fine because I can fish in the, the winter. Oh man, the base is going to be interesting when they're attacking and it's um, in the winter. That's going to be very interesting to see how the, uh, the hunters react to the base now versus what they would have done before. Um... 16. Let's go ahead and you turn on, put these away, hopefully not waste them again like I did earlier that I felt really stupid about, but it happens. That away and put that there. All right, that works. It's my power and mass at. Oh, so I can put these in. Start building up my extra mass resources. And you weren't crafting anything else. I could finish off the next Molotov. So I can make, I was able to make three Molotovs with what I have. So it puts me one short from attacking both bases at the same run. Pretty sure to, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, puts me one short. So I'm probably going to continue building my resources up so that I can, when I do go over to attack, I'll be over, I'll be able to go over and just attack with everything at the same time. I don't want, oh, at least the two bases. I don't want to go over there and only attack one base. Um, not just the resources would be the issue. It's the whole trip over there and not being able to maximize that trip would definitely feel bad. But I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on season five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys or catch you guys in the next one. I always get that wrong. Take it easy. Bye.